Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum. So, it's me again, uh, Saif Rahman. So, I want to wish Eid Mubarak to all of our Muslim viewers out there. Hi, Salam everyone. I'm Rusi and this is my Eid vlog. So, Eid Mubarak everyone. Assalamualaikum everyone. Eid Mubarak to all of you, brothers and sisters. Today what we're doing is a video about Eidul Adha and in particular we have instituted a new ritual amongst ourselves that we exchange gifts so today I want to show you what are the gifts that I have prepared so first and foremost I must apologize that um, the wrapping skills are really not that great so but anyway this uh, gift I have is for brother Iskandar here you go Edison this is for you this is cherry candies you can read it also with a small fake plant Fake so it doesn't mess up in the shipping in the mail. For Fidaus will be this. This is actually a candle and it smells super nice. Like you have the light up. Lah. For Reese, I bought her a travel prayer mat. You can bring it everywhere you go. There's also a magnet here and they have a note in there which tells you which direction to pray depending on where you're located at. This one is a novel. It's The Moors Account by Leila Lalami and I think this is a good present for Abdaus. It's about the new world and it's about a Moor, a brother who travelled to the new world. It's an award-winning book. Some dates. I think Korma dates is always a uh... I believe a meaningful gift because you know that brings uh, uh, everything that needs for good health. So in that sense, uh, I thought that uh, dates might be a good idea. I got four packs, so you guys uh, should have yeah sufficient quantity. Hello, I got you the same thing, <laughs> but in mango. I hope you like them. Also, a fake plant. But honestly, fake plants are so cool because they're so small and compact. And you can put them anywhere, and they look pretty much real as long as you just don't look at them like we also got her my wife and i we shot for her and we got her a beautiful hijab here you can see the patterns on this hijab it's black and white we thought it's easy to match with this and we think that maybe she likes floral prints so that's why we got her floral prints and then this one would be for 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 for, 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 for who, 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 who is this um sister shahira this is the Masters of Wisdom of Central Asia. This is a spiritual book. It's about the Sufi masters in Central Asia. And I think because Rusi is such a philosopher, this one is a good fit for her. So Sister Rusi, please read it and tell me if you like it or not. And uh, for Sayur Rahman, Rizi and Iskandar, I got the same thing. Also candle, but different smell. And we also got her this book, Ikarok book 1 to 6. Basically, if you want to learn to read the Quran, in Southeast Asia at least, I know most of them use this book called Ikra. It's in Arabic and you probably need a teacher to help you understand how to read them. But it's the basics of understanding Arabic so that you can also read the Quran. The next present is for Ustad Saifur Rahman. It's about the Order of St. John. It's about uh, knights, these monks. It's about a Christian order and I thought this kind of in-depth religious history would be interesting to the Ustad. So yes, the history of the Order of St. John. Speaking about the Quran, we have the clear Quran and this is by Sister Siti who gave this to me to pass it to anyone that I think would benefit from it. So this is from Sister Siti to Sister Risi. So we're also giving you a Quran. Inshallah, may all this benefit you. Saifal Rahman, thank you so much for teaching us during these Islamic sessions. Best teacher of the year and also I couldn't decide which one so I also got a Canada mug too. Cheers! For our sister, the gift is actually a candle. A little bit different, you know, soft touch instead of just giving korma. So it's actually very nice. It smells very nice. Uh, blackberries and basil candle. So hopefully uh, our sister likes it too. Brother Iskander, I found this really nice t-shirt with a good print. It says piety in Arabic. And inshallah, living in the Netherlands, it might be quite cold so this shirt is for him to keep warm and also remember about piety yeah so i got this for brother iskander and on top of that travel mat which i explained earlier what it's for and sister city will pass him this clear quran yep so brother iskander's gifts this would be for brother Ilyas, and this one would be for brother firdaus so for firdaus one i got him soft deer <laughs> And then for Blue Bell, I got it for Sayo Rahman. It's the same thing inside. For Iskandar, is Gardenia. 
This one is for Brother Edison. This one is called Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the Quran. So this is a really more classic book about Islam. I think from an Orientalist perspective, perhaps it's good to read this with a teacher or relativate it. What I got for Brother Amir is this book, Ikra also which is black in color and it's book one to six so we see get the pink one but the Amir Edison is going to get this black color book what else I'm getting by the Amir is this little book called Zikr so he can actually look at the various Arabic words in there including the Rumi how to pronounce them and the English to explain the supplication and Zikr that he can do besides his obligatory prayers he can use this as a travel book to read them and to offer Zikr to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala I also bought this bookmark and also this this is basically like a pointer yeah harold i got you a fake plant okay i'm not obsessed with fake plants but i love fake plants they never die <laughs> just like our love for islam mashallah <laughs> yeah check it out it's got a little like thingy here thingy here oh they're called succulents uh, and next what i have for brother bilal Okay, so I saw the print of Piety and I thought I'd give that to Iskander but I also saw this one called Al-Ugwa and this Arabic word Al-Ugwa means brotherhood and I thought it would be quite apt to give a French brother of mine who's living in Singapore this t-shirt so inshallah he can wear it with his family when they go on our things together so I'm giving this to brother Bilal For Ruizi and Bilal, for them, I got them mirror so this is actually a table kind of mirror and the last book, but not the least, certainly not. This is a history book, and this is for Bilal. It's about the First Crusade. Pretty straightforward. By a renowned historian, and I think this will be a very good read. I wanted to gift you the book by Amin Malouf. However, that book I couldn't find in the bookstore, but that one is written from a Muslim perspective. This one, I think, is more from a historical Christian perspective. I think they're both excellent books, and I hope you enjoy history. This one for Brother Bilal, and then this last gift is for Sister Ruisi of Toronto. So these gifts would be delivered in the parcel and inshallah you'll get it and hopefully we can exchange our gifts together on the day of Eid inshallah. And finally for our dear Saiful Rahman, what did I get him? You know I've been seeing Saiful Rahman wearing batik t-shirt in all the live streams. No, not all. Okay, I think most of them. Even when I meet him face to face when I'm out for coffee sometimes, I do see him with nice batiks. And I came across one batik which is green in color and I think it would be quite suitable for him. So inshallah, he'll like this batik shirt that I bought for him. So we are supposed to share what we eat with our family today. So today, I want to show you what our family usually have during Eid Adha. Because the occasion of sacrificing a sheep and there's a lot of meat, we will normally order biryani. So this is my biryani for today. We have the biryani rice, which is basmati rice infused with spice and herbs. This is lamb curry fried chicken, sambal prawns, spicy prawns. So this is what I'm going to be having today. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. For me, I've traveled to many parts of the world and I realized that brandy is one of the food that is kind of prevalent and generally in most parts of the world, especially the Muslim world, although they come in different forms and different variances. So number one, in India, in Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia, it usually called brandy. In other parts of the world, it might be called pilau or in the Western world, it's called pilaf. Even in the Middle Caucasus, it's called plof. When I was in Uzbekistan, this is the national dish. The essence is the same, but you know, with a little bit of variance in terms of its recipe and so on and so forth. So it just goes to show that food really brings us together. So this is my festive food, the biryani for today. My dessert for today, the onde, onde cake. Yum, 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 sweet and uh, sweet. <laughs> yeah. Originally, it is a glutinized rice balls. In the middle, melted palm sugar and coated with grated coconut outside of it. And then it develops as different variances and so for today, it has evolved to become a cake like this. So you see that the green color will be infusion of pandan leaves which gives a very nice aroma, sweet smelling. And then if you see the brown parts of it, these are the melted palm sugar and some cheese cream on top to top it off. Right? So this is the food that I'll be consuming for today and I hope you are enjoying your food together with your family at home. Embrace the occasion. Inshallah, don't forget to do takbirs regularly after each prayer and constantly for the next three, four days. So I wish you Eid Mubarak and hope you have a good time spending it with your family and friends. Inshallah. Assalamualaikum and I'll see you again. So today, I just wanted to showcase a little bit of French culture. So as you can see, uh, there's been some crepe being cooked. Of course, you know, this will be delivered later. So for the convenience of delivery, it's all packed. Crepe is very significant to the French culture. 
A lot of people cook that for dessert, for example, or even for main course, it can be salted as well. And you can use all sorts of toppings as well. So as you can see, you have chocolate. So you can just pour it at the top on the crepe itself. You got sugar as well, ice sugar. And then some bananas as well that you can put at the top. So everything together. Once you open the crepe, put the bananas, put the chocolate and the sugar as well. So that's for the dish that has been cooked for this special occasion. I will show you my food. Okay, so I didn't actually have the time to make my own stuff So I just got my dad to buy some Chinese halal food because currently I'm moving and it's just been really hectic because I've been at Ikea all day just buying furniture all the time so I got some lamb kebabs and I know I had some more earlier but um, we ate them all like me, my dad and my sister the store is somewhere in Toronto, I believe. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm, ch I'm eating with my mouth open. The place is called Chinese Halal Store or Halal Chinese Restaurant. And that's literally the name of it. And it's so good. I didn't know lamb could taste as good. Normally, I just eat tofu because I'm too lazy to cook meat. But this is it. So, Eid Mubarak, everyone here um i can't pass you a lamb kebab and i'm pretty sure this one's already like half half eaten so do you want some just pretend that i gave it to you okay here now does that taste good i can never cook that good well maybe one day inshallah i hope you have a great eid and eat well on eid Hey guys, welcome back and I'd like to share with you that before I share with you my cultural dish I'd like to share with you that I've already wrapped all the presents that I'm going to give our dear brothers and sisters later uh, delivering it to them so guess what's the cultural dish that I prepared so for the month of Eid instead of the usual lontong, katupat, rendang, sambal goreng some of them would have all this Malay dish for Eid but for me, being Chinese I'd like to share you something that is quite famous in Singapore uh, People all the way from China will actually come all the way here to eat it It's peppery, it's hot and it serves with oolong tea sometimes And it's in Hokkien, this word So if you don't know what it is, it's called Bak Kut Teh Bak Kut Teh, in literal translation of Bak Kut Teh means meat bone tea And it's usually served with pork But because we are Muslims, right? I'm giving it to you the halal version of it which is lamb kut teh so I'm using lamb, the ribs of the lamb to make this dish and also along with this I've served it with brown rice much more healthier instead of bright rice usually it's served with white rice and uh, some bird's eye chili uh, chili padi they call it in Asia you can choose not to have it if you don't want it to be too spicy and fried you tell you tell this is this long flour like thing that they deep fry it goes really well with the soup so in the traditional way they have this with the bagute but i made lamb gute. so don't know if you can see oh i scared to tilt it too much but i will turn the camera later so you can have a better view of this okay Ta -da! so this is my lamb gute. you can see the lamb racks are here they are lamb shanks okay you got some coriander leaves you got garlic in here and you have lamb racks okay they are the ribs of the lamb hello slaughtered and you got the soup here peppery black soup yes you get the yutiao here usually we have this together with the soup and it's really delicious to put this together okay over here you have brown rice you can eat with the lamb and some chili so if you don't want it to be so spicy you can exclude the bird's eye chili but put some dark soya sauce here which goes really well with the meat later on so the combination like this very very delicious over here you can see we have the lamb good day the meat is so soft that it falls off the bone quite easily what you do is usually take a piece of the meat put it on a spoon put some brown rice on it take the yu tail dip it in the soup until it becomes slightly soft if you want it to be a bit spicy, put the chili. If not, just duck soya sauce is fine. And yeah, bismillah. Hmm, you know what? It's not very different from the original one. And finally, I'd like to wish all of you Eid Mubarak. Despite the pandemic, know that we can still and live in the spirit of Eid, exchange gifts, and enjoy a simple meal together with your family. we we'll see you again. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Eid Mubarak!